Hi everyone, um, it's Justina Cook here from the Busy Business Accelerator and tonight I'm going to be interviewing the lovely Sarah Quinton. Uh, Sarah has joined us on our Business Accelerator, I can't, I can't put my teeth in tonight, my <laughs> Business Accelerator Mastermind. Um, she's been working with us for a few months now and this is one of the interviews we're doing. And Sarah's going to tell us all about her business and what she's doing. So hand it over to you. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited because I've been working with Justina and the, and the gang. And I've really brought my business on and, and gone branched out into a completely new direction, really. Um, and I wouldn't have done that if I hadn't have been on the business accelerator. So it's really exciting. Yeah, so it's my, been exciting watching. <laughs> <laughs> so my business is called Work Smart Live More. And what we do is we help people with no time, no money and no plan to get the finances in order by giving advice and guidance on day-to-day -day spending, uh, household bills and effective budgeting. So this gives them more flexibility with time, money and quality of life. Because people i don't know young people seem to be working all hours god sends and they've still got no money and there must be a reason why so yeah uh, i dig point. deep into what they're doing what they're what they're earning what they're spending and where all the money's going because Brilliant. a lot of people don't know <laughs> <laughs> so we also offer advice on income generation so by explaining different ways you can earn your money and how developing multiple income streams can change the way uh, that you work and also improve the quality of life and give you more time. Mm, so totally. In a nutshell, that's what I'm doing. Mm, brilliant. I mean, I'm a great fan of multiple income streams. I think, and you've probably done the same there, haven't you? When you've been in a situation where you've got all your eggs in one basket that's and then right. something happens, I mean, it happened to me, I had a bad accident. Um, and although actually I did have two income streams at that time, both of those required me to be physically active in that job. And yeah. I wasn't able to yeah. be that way. So my income in effect stopped. Mm. So that is an issue, but there can be, you know, lots of other reasons, isn't there? Why, you know, why would you say people really need additional income streams? nowadays well the the classic one is what you said i mean if mm. you're working for an hour and getting paid for an hour and if yeah. you don't go to work you don't get paid yeah something happens maybe you're ill or i mean i'm at the age now where I'm, my parents are elderly i'm the only child mm. so you know i'm finding that i need to spend more time with them yeah so, um you know and it's 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 really good because I can do that. I don't have to go yeah. out to work because I've got lots of things going on. And, um, and it's, it's how you earn your money as well. Mm. So the difference between linear income and passive income or residual income. Yeah. You know, linear income is if you work for an hour, you get paid for an hour, but if you don't work, you don't get paid. Yeah. Passive income is something where you probably have to do a lot of work in the beginning. For instance, we've got a couple of rental properties, so that was quite a lot of work to get them up and running. But now they're running, it's yeah. it's changed our lives. Yeah. We don't yeah. have to go to work if we don't want to. So, yeah. You know, yeah. it's just one example of, of a different way of earning your money. Yeah, and I think there's, um, you know, for people, obviously people like yourself in that situation, you know, it, or for, for myself, you know, to cover you in event of an accident mm. but it can also top up your income you know maybe if you're in a career or, or a job that you don't particularly enjoy or you know you've ended up going down a route and you think oh god now I'm so far down the line I, I don't really want to sort of retrain and go back to university again and things like that mm. there are things out there network marketing business affiliate marketing um, you know like you say property yeah uh, there's all sorts of things like that that can actually build you a residual style <laughs> income yeah. isn't that yeah um, and if you know if you if you have something like that and you build it and you know that your bills are paid every month mm. 
takes such a lot of stress out of life. Totally. And mm. that we're in that position now, you know, we know that the bills are paid every month. Yeah. And it's just, my husband's a handyman and he can just go out and do what he wants to do. Yeah. You don't want to work, doesn't have to. Exactly. And, and that's the other thing, you know, it, can, it gives you freedom mm. to make choices to do what you want to do. That's you know, right. whether it's, you know, to top up your pension even. Mm. Or, you know, maybe a lot of people now don't have pensions because not very many of them are very valuable mm. at the time you come to use them. That's um, right. Savings is the same, isn't it? So, mm. you know, a lot of people are looking at things like this to mm. top up their income um, for their pension. Yeah, there can be a whole host of reasons, can't there? You know, mums at home that actually, you know, maybe have got, three kids we told our three kids and actually haven't physically got the time no to fit into their day with all the school runs and everything else to be going out to work with child care being so expensive yeah talking about young mums as well it seems to be that they're kind of forced to go to work and surely mm. there are some mums that would rather stay at home yeah and be with their children don't yeah. have to go back to work I'm sure there's loads and loads of young mums that go to work, go back to work, but they don't really want to. They'd rather be at home mm. looking after the kids. Yeah. And sometimes if you go to work, it's more expensive than staying <clears throat> at home. Totally. And it's I think one of the, there. yeah, I think one of the other points there, and, you know, it's something that I'm always very conscious of as well with, with my little boy, is that you don't get those years back, mm. do you? You don't get those young years. You don't you know once they've gone they've gone like time is your biggest asset mm. but you know you don't get it back once it's gone no that's and, right and it is easy isn't it when you're younger to think oh i've got all the time in the world and you know mm. when you're 20 and you think about being 40 it seems like a zillion miles away it doesn't even seem possible <laughs> that you can even live to be that long yeah. <laughs> so so it is it is um you know that sort of thing is really important so mm. Tell us a little bit more about your story um, and how and what you do and right. how Work Smart Live More really sort of came about. What inspired you to go on that journey? Okay, so wow, really for as long as I can remember, um, I've always looked for a bargain. I've always been a bit of a miser. <laughs> and if I, can't, if I can't make it or repurpose it, I won't buy it. If you yeah. know, if I can make something myself. Yeah. Or I can repurpose something I've already got. I won't buy it new. Yeah. Um, I buy most things second hand. Yeah. Because they're usually made better, to be fair. Yeah, true. Uh, but 10 years ago, we had just moved back from Italy. And we got oh, no were, you li were you living in Italy? We lived in Italy for five years, yeah. Oh, okay. And then we came back in 2008. Yeah. With about £500 in the bank and uh, a transit van of... Um, furniture mm. and that's it that's all we had we right. did have a house in italy but we couldn't sell it okay so it took us two years to sell it so we did have to start from scratch um so and i, I came across utility warehouse oh, okay so I've, been, I've been working with utility warehouse helping people save money on the bills for almost 10 years now got you and I provide this service for free and it really, really makes me feel happy when I can help somebody save some money on the bills. Mm. So I've been doing that, jogging along, and that's been really good. But over the last few years, I've noticed how society's changed and the pressure to buy stuff is immense. Yeah. You know, social media, the television, new cars, so-called designer items, you know, and and everything's overpriced because people know that people are going to buy it because of all the media pressure and everything. So I noticed also that although people are working probably full time, they still can't make ends meet. And there's mm. got to be a reason for this. There's got to be a reason. Because <clears throat> we don't earn a lot of money. We don't have a lot of money coming in. And a lot of people say, how come you do what you do on what you earn? And we say, well, you know, we don't spend our money on stuff. We'd rather go on holiday or do something nice with it rather than buying stuff. 
Yeah. So, um, so I believe it's because the reason people can't make ends meet is because of all this pressure and they're getting caught in a cycle of spend, spend, spend. So my mission is to help people bring their finances under control and take away some of the worry and fear that they have. Because most people are just one payday away from disaster. Mm. And I want to stop it. Right now, right here, right now. Hey! Woo -hoo. Many people as a <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't think it's the big stuff that is causing the problem, like bills and all that. Mm. I mean, yeah, you can shop around going cheaper. And I can help people with the utility warehouse with that. But I don't believe it is that that's, that's making people skint. I think it's the small stuff. I mm. think it's going into Costa every day. Yes. And a coffee and a cake. Yeah. I mean, that's five pounds a day. That's, Easy. Yeah, isn't it? it's a lot of money, isn't it? It's, and people don't realise that they're doing it. So, yeah, that is the thing. Yeah, and don't you think food shopping as well has absolutely the price of our mm -hmm. weekly food shop yeah. has escalated, mm -hmm. you know, a, so much over the past, well, especially you notice know, it, I think the past three to five years, it's really yeah. shot up. It has, yeah. And dare say, whatever happens with Brexit, it might be shooting up again. <laughs> it might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just to give you an idea, mm. so there's five adults in our house because all our kids are grown up, but they're still yeah. living at home. So, <laughs> there's, there's a minimum of five. Yeah. And then with girlfriends and boyfriends and things, there's seven. And then if it's a full house on a Sunday, there's nine. Okay. For dinner. And I spend on food about eighty-five pound a week. What? Food. Yeah, honest to God, it's about eighty-five pound a week. And we and do they do they have lunches there as well as dinners, or is that? Well, no, they're at work. Yeah. But, um, so evening meals and breakfast. Evening meal, breakfast, and yeah, all, you know, the lunches for you and the other half or whatever. Grown up the chocolate crisps. If there's no chocolate or crisp in the cupboard or cakes in the fridge, I'll go, there's nothing, no food in this house. <laughs> there's a riot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I've shopped in Aldi's and I've shopped in Aldi's yeah. for over 20 years. Didn't even know they've been going that long, but yeah, we shop in Aldi's too. Well, yeah, yeah we sort of do a mix about, I've actually, uh, I'll digress in here, but anyway, Asda have done that uh, scanny thing. Oh, right. Uh, where you, and so I thought we'd try them for a, for a change because we always shop in Aldi. But the past few weeks, we thought the quality's dropped a bit. So we were like, mm, okay. So anyway, we went to Asda. And actually, when you're using the thingy, it makes you more conscious of what you are what, what putting in your trolley. And we actually didn't spend any more in Asda than we did in Aldi. Whereas in previous years, that if we shopped in Asda compared to Aldi, you can guarantee it was at least 40 quid, maybe 50 quid more for yeah, a similar shop. Yeah. So, so yeah, so, but yeah, we digress anyway. I'll get back on track. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Aldi's. I think the quality's yeah. good at Aldi's. Yeah, exactly. So, um, if somebody came to see you then, Sarah, and said, right, okay, can you show me how I can work smart and live more? Where would yeah. you start with them? What would you do? Well, I'd start by having a look at the bank statement and all the yeah. bills. Yeah. And then I would ask them to keep a diary of any, every penny that they spent for a week. Yeah. That is the first thing that I would say. Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, I think it's the small things Yeah. that are, that are adding up to why people have not got any disposable income. Yeah, and of course November and December are the worst months of the year. <laughs> yeah, totally. So that's what I would do. I would do that, and then I'd probably go back after a week and say, "Let's have a look, see what you're earning." I'll take all the bills away, obviously, and have a look and see, yeah. see what they're earning, how much they're spending, and then I'll go back and and I think the magic thing would be how much they've spent in that week yeah just cash money little bits 
Yeah. And I take um, it you'd also have a look at their utilities as well and see if yeah, you could save yeah. them any money with utilities warehouse or if you could mm -hmm. find them a cheaper energy supplier. That's right, general. yeah. Because with utility warehouse, of course, we've got the cashback card. Oh, yes. I may be saying about that now. <clears throat> yeah, so they put money on it, they use it in the shops, and they get between 1% and 10% cashback off their utility warehouse bill every month. So. Mm. You know, which is significant, are, isn't it? it? Is, yeah, if they're spenders, yeah, and they like doing the shopping, yeah, you know, and they like going out for meals and things like that, they can they can save a lot on their utility bills. And so, how does the card work? Does it? So you put money onto it. Yeah, it's not a debit or a credit card. Yeah, you load, so you, you pre preload it. You prepay. And then, like a phone you just yeah. put money on it like you do on a prepaid phone and where can you use it <clears throat> you can use it everywhere okay it's visa okay so oh, i'm everywhere. with you yeah yeah so you get one percent everywhere yeah and then if you're in one of our partner stores you get between three and five percent so it's uh things like uh, marks and spencers new look yeah uh, british home stores no, so that's stores. debitums yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know so that three to ten percent that is mm. three to ten percent of the value of what they've spent in those stores yeah they then get that back off their utility bill yeah at the end of the month yeah so say you went to b and q and you spent 100 pound yeah you get five pound off your bill cool so yeah it's really yeah. good so that could and, you know that could definitely mount up couldn't it yeah and usually in november because boots boots is one of our cashback card partners in november boots usually do a really really good deal where it's nine percent or something oh okay you know when, when boots do like the bar one get one mm. free on all the yeah packs and everything yeah you could get an extra nine percent back awesome cashback, which is really good that is really really good um yeah. fab so are you doing a christmas promotion are you got something going on for christmas that you want to tell us about yeah well so i was thinking because november and december are the worst months of the year yeah uh, so throughout november and december uh i thought i would offer a 60 minute spending review yeah cool anyone who wants one brilliant so that they can start the new year on the right foot. Yeah, good idea. And, you know, so yeah, throughout November and December, free 60 minute spending review. Brilliant. That'd yeah. be really, really useful for people, I think. Mm. I think that'd be, yeah, that'd be good. So if you want to find out more about uh, Work Smart and Live More, if you want to speak to Sarah, you can obviously contact her on her personal profile, which I'll add it to the link below this video or the post when it's on the Facebook page. Um, mm -hmm. You can also speak to her via her Facebook page, which is Work Smart and Live More. Mm -hmm. um, I'll add any other contact details Sarah wants to add there too. So um, you've got email, etc. as well. Cool. So that's been brilliant. Um, is there anything else you want to add to that? Anything that we've... No, I think, you know, if you've got no time, no money and no plan, you need to see me. Yes. And I think that's the, that's the, that's the point, isn't it? You know, if it's having that plan, because if yeah. you haven't got any money, it's easy to just sit there and think, I haven't got any money, haven't got any spare money. There's no point in me planning or trying to even think about doing anything because I can't that's move cool. forward. Yeah. But that's when you come in, isn't it? That's when you can help. Yeah. I think it always helps to have a, uh, another pair of eyes on it. Yeah somebody from the outside to have a yeah. look i mean i know it's a bit personal looking at everybody's finances and everything yeah you know i won't but I, think, <laughs> I think the big thing to point yeah the thing big thing to point out from your perspective and i, I know that of you as well that you're not judgmental you know all no. everything that you discuss with a person and that you look at is 100 percent confidential mm -hmm. yeah um you know it doesn't go any further than that than than your conversation and everything yeah. that you then put in place for them. So, because yeah. a lot of people can feel embarrassed, can't they, if they've got themselves in a bit of a pickle or That's right, yeah, whatever. don't be embarrassed because 
lots and lots of people are in the same boat yeah and you know if you're prepared to make some changes we can get you out and get you on the right track yeah because if you did i thought that was really interesting so you basically came back did you say 10 years ago it was 2008 so 11 years ago 11 now. years ago with 500 quid and no house yeah and now obviously i won't ask you personal details about your savings etc but you have got the house that you live in yeah and you have how many properties we've got two hmos Only two. what's a hmo it's a home of multiple op occupation so we rent it by the room okay yeah but brilliant we, we look after them ourselves so we make sure our tenants are happy and everything but that's amazing just having those two has yeah. totally changed our lives yeah but that's amazing isn't it if you think of it you know to come back with 500 quid in your pocket and 11 years time to have three properties and a good income i think yeah, it's fantastic yeah. well done you <laughs> <laughs> well we Brilliant. did sell the house eventually in italy so yes, that gets yeah to do with it. yeah but two years it was really hard for two years we had to mm. start from nothing yeah totally so brilliant no jobs or anything nothing well, no, no. Bars, no jobs no three kids three kids still at school oh god <coughs> yeah that's yeah. hard going <laughs> so well done so mm -hmm. um if you want to speak to sarah i'll add the details below thank you very much sarah for this evening much appreciated and i'll uh, speak to you again soon all right then thank you very much okay bye bye